Now, in the last question, if you remember from part A, uh, you had to find the x-intercept by letting y equal 0 because we're looking for where this uh, parabola is going to be um, crossing the, the x-axis. And at that point, or at those points, y is going to be equal to 0. So if we're going to sub in 0 for y, we can write the, rewrite this as 0 is equal to x squared minus 4. Now we can factor this um, binomial, and first thing, some people might recognize this as a difference of squares, and that's good that, that you can. Or the other way you can uh, think of this is we can write this as because there is no x term, it's 0 times x. So we're looking for two numbers that add to 0 and multiply to be negative 4. I have a product of negative 4. So sum is 0, product is negative 4. And if you factor using, just by inspection using difference of squares, then this is equal to x minus 2 times x plus 2. Now, if you notice that negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, and negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So x minus 2 times x plus 2 would be x squared minus 4. And now there are two possibilities that will make the left side and the right side of this equation equal to 0. The first possibility is x minus 2 is 0, or x plus 2 is equal to 0. And if uh, x minus 2 is equal to 0, then that's one intercept. And if x uh, plus 2 is equal to 0, then that will be our other x-intercept. The parabola is, that'll uh, identify where the parabola is going to cross the uh, x-axis. And so what we're going to do now is solve this. So this is going to be equal to x, x equals 2. And if we subtract 2 from both sides, 0 minus 2 is going to be negative 2. So this is going to be x equals negative 2. So there are two possible answers here that will satisfy the equation, make everything equal to left side and right side equal to 0. So if x equals 2, then this will be 0 times a number. And if, this, if x equals negative 2, then in the second bracket, it will be negative 2 plus 2, which is 0. And so this right side, will um, the product will be 0 as well. So there are two points where this parabola is going to cross the x-axis, and the two points then are going to be negative 2 and positive 2.